Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So, today I am back with what I said might be coming, and it is my second Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul. So, after my last video, I said that there might be a second video. I wasn't sure really what I was going to do, where I planned on going with uh, buying more stuff from Bath & Body Works. And I bought a whole crap ton more stuff. Like, it's ridiculous how much more crap stuff I bought. But... I will say part of it, a lot of it was today because they did, um, they, yesterday I believe, yeah, yesterday they put out 10, or 20 off, 10 off 30 and 20 off 50, excuse me, and that just blew me out of the water because I was like, okay, I'm screwed because I'm going to have to go buy, back and buy more stuff, and some of this was like stuff I bought right after the last one. And then what was one thing that I didn't know about Bath & Body Works, and I'm still getting new into this Bath & Body Works thing, and there's a lot of stuff I still need to learn, there's a lot of stuff I still want to learn, but this is going to be my new obsession and on top of my perfume, so this is going to be a new thing. But um, one of the things that Bath & Body Works does that I really find really, really cool is they price adjust, like after 14 days, from 14 days on, from the day you bought it onward, they can price adjust things that you bought and they will take extra off, if that makes sense. Like, if it's it was 50% off and it went down to 75% off, they gave you the dis difference. And a lot of stuff did go 75% off that I did already buy, so I did some exchanging and whatnot, and that led me to buy more crap and so on and so forth. So, first thing I'm going to show you guys is my candle holders just because they're the cool things the cool cooler things of the stuff I got that I was really happy I got first one is this little glass dome one now I will say all three uh, or all the candle holders I got I did get 75% off so it's a little like and it's got these weird specs on it I just need to clean the glass I just haven't done that yet but it's this this is for like the little um, two dollar candles um, but this just a uh, mini version of a bigger one that I got and this is the bigger one that I got so it looks like this and I don't even know if I can get this all yeah there we go um so the main reason I bought this was first I was I really like this idea I've always loved this like glass domes and part of that's because of Beauty and the Beast it's my favorite movie you guys know that I even have like Beauty and the Beast tattoo so Beauty and the Beast is my thing but, I saw this, and the lady said that she would give it to me for 75% off, so I just hopped on it and got it. And they had two of them at that store, and then another store had them, and I convinced the lady to give me it for 75% off, too. Um, since the other store gave it to me 75% off. And I got three of these. Two of them I gave, or two of them I'm keeping, and one I gave to my sister. But, I will show you guys a picture, I'll post a picture, like, right, right about... Right, well, we'll post it over here. Um, of what I actually did with the other one of these domes, this one's going to stay here in the perfume room, and it actually has a candle that's going to sit in it. The cool, the sad thing is it doesn't burn the candle inside it, which I figured wouldn't happen. I knew that once I put this dome on top, it would shut the oxygen off and the candle wouldn't burn no more, but I was hoping by some way in grace of God there would, this would burn inside the dome. But I actually took the other one, as you guys saw with the picture, I took the other one and put a rose, because Jerry gives me um, these gold roses every year for Valentine's Day, so I took and like put a rose on the inside of that dome, thought it looked cool. So there's that, got three of those, like I said, I only got one of those miniature domes, but then this one I picked up today just because, with my hoping that the dome ones, I could light it and stay inside there, I wanted something that would look pretty, and... I found this one, and the lady gave it to me for 75% off. It is a birdcage one. Um, this thing's super cool. Like, the candle's got, like, this little, like, this little thing goes down inside here. So, like, the candle, like, burns on inside here. And you guys will see this in a lot more of my videos because it's actually going to sit right up here where that candle's at right there. Um, it's going to sit up there from now on. 
and just I'm gonna have the candle going in it. So there's that. Um, while talking candles, we'll break into my candle mash moss pit. Um, got this one, which I will say, and I feel like every other person feels this way, and I don't know why they keep doing it. I mean, people bitch about it, yet they still keep doing it. Hopefully they won't do it anymore. We'll see. But, um, I don't like that these don't have a lid. I absolutely hate this, like, stupid dust cover in here. It, especially now that I'm getting into collecting and obsessing about these candles, without having a lid, it sucks. I know that once I start burning more candles and I have empties, I can put the lid on top of it. But, we'll see. Anyway, this one is Cranberry Pear Bellini. Looks like this. Um, it's just kind of a, it's similar to Champagne Toast. They're both out of that same collection. This one's just a little more fruitier, uh, a little more cranberry, obviously. Um, it says, a bubbly and delicious, a bright blend of sparkling cranberry, sweet pear nectar, and luscious black currant. So, there's that one. Um, this one, I actually have two of, and the other one's burning up there. And it is Guava Colada. I just got this one, I got one today and got one yesterday because I was looking for something to make that um, coupon work better. And this one is an intoxicating fragrance of sweet guava mixes with golden passion fruit and a rich Pacific Island vanilla. Cannot tell you guys how much I love this candle. It's got like that guava. I don't really get a lot of vanilla. Um, I smell the passion fruit in there, but it's really kind of just like guava passion fruit mix but with like not as much passion fruit the one thing I will say that's a little weird on this is I always thought the word colada meant like pina coladas like they have coconut in them so I don't understand why this doesn't have coconut in it not that I don't think it's bad without the coconut in it but I would have been nice to have coconut in there next one I got was Caribbean Escape. This one I know is an older Bath & Body Works scent that's been around for a really long time. Um, don't know why it took me this long to actually pick up one of these. Dive into a blend of tropical melon, raspberry nectar, lemon mellowed by creamy coconut milk and raw sugar cane. I love this. It smells so nice. And definitely kind of a nice blend of all of the different scents. Another one I got was Ice Cream Shop. Um... Most of these candles I got, I did get 75% off. Um, I think, exception of a couple of them, I think a couple of them were $10. But most of them were 75% off. This one, Ice Cream Shop, just like a perfect ice cream sundae, creamy, vanilla, rich toffee, and a sweet blend of almond blossom with a cherry on top. It just smells like vanilla. I mean, it smells like vanilla ice cream, I guess is the easiest way to describe that. Um, coconut leaves, I'm not a huge coconut fan. But there's something about this coconut I just like. Transported into a, the tropics with the fusion of juicy tangerine papaya. Gives away with the soothing coconut notes. I think the fruits in it are just enough in there to balance it out. So I do like it enough. But it's I'm not a huge coconut fan. So it's going to be a little bit before I burn that one. Um, next one I got was Love. Um, this one I absolutely, I mean I love it. I can't. Let's be cheesy. It's called Love Hearts and Flowers. A lo add, this, add a lovely touch to your decor with a room full of fragrance with peonies, sparkling oranges, and sweet blueberries. It's kind of just like this sweet floral. It's not super floral, but it's got that sweetness to back it up. I'm building like a pyramid over here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Next one I got two of, and it is the... Happy Easter Candle, which is just a repackage of uh, Cotton Candy Marshmallow. Um, celebrating spring with a blend of cotton candy, raspberries, and fresh sugared cream. I mean, this is just cream. Like, it's seriously, like, I don't even really get a whole lot of cotton candy. I get more cream out of this. Um, I wish it had more cotton candy in it because I love cotton candy smells. So, next one. This one I'm not sure if I like or not. It's Green Apple Orchard. Uh, fragrance of crisp fall apple is a perfect picking with enhanced by amber and cedarwood notes. I feel like the amber and the cedarwood add too much of a masculine scent to this. I do like it though. I think it'll be better once it gets more fall and cold time. I'll like that one more. Another one I got was Summer Bonfire. This one, it wasn't 75% off. Perfect. 
summer night at the beach comes to life with warm wood notes, orange blossom, and green leaves. This one I was really on the fence about, but there wasn't another candle at that particular store I went to that I particularly liked a lot, just to, like, I had to get another $10 to get to that 10 off 50, or the 20 off 50, and I figured this one would work. They didn't have, some of the ones I had liked, they didn't have the guava colada, they didn't have, um, uh, I was really hoping for a smile, of like the Love Collection, I was hoping that there was a smile one in the store because it was a pink lemonade punch or something like that, which I really, really like to have, but they didn't have it. The other one I got, oh, I don't know why it took me so long to get this, Summer Boardwalk. This is probably the most sought-after candle in a collector's. I feel like every collector who collects Bath & Body Works has at least one of these. This is the pinnacle from what I've been, like, I haven't burned this one yet, still unburned. Um, mainly because I just got it today. But from what I've read, this is like the... From every review, everything I've read, everything, this is the number one Bath & Body Works candle. Every candle lives up to this with its throw, with its amazingness. I feel like almost everybody loves this candle. Um, like the memories at the beach... At the best summer... Sp oh my lord. Memories of a best summer spent at the beach. Caramelized glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salt and salted sweet cream. I mean, it's perfect of all those. I smell every single thing that was listed. I love, love, love this candle. And I'm probably going to be buying more, especially if this goes on sale. Um, next one was Saltwater Taffy. This one, I bought two of the, I bought two of this and I bought two of the Summer, uh, not Summer Boardwalk, Ice Cream Shop. I wasn't as much of a fan of them as I thought. I ended up returning one of each one. Um, classic sweet, classic seaside sweet, light, fluffy vanilla, cream whipped with strawberries and cherries. I like this. I just wish the fruits were a little more prominent. I get a lot of the cream in this. I just wish the pro the fruits were a little more prominent, and they might be when I actually burn it. So we'll see. Um, another one I got was red velvet cupcake. Um, treat yourself the most popular cupcake in the bakery. Wow, words. Red velvet cake topped with rich creamy vanilla frosting. This smells like red velvet. I mean, it's perfect in every aspect of it. The only thing I don't like about this is it has a lot of this, like, fog around the candle. And I don't know if that's, like, every red velvet cupcake candle is like that. But mine's like that. I also really like the lid on this. I mean, this is super cool. Hold on. Okay, so mm, we're back. Um, my roommate slash best friend decided to like creepily stick underneath my door and was like creeper stalking me. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, so back to Bath and Body Works hauling. Um, another one I got. I got this one thing. My husband picked this out, which normally he does not like these scents. Um, it's called Tiki Beach, and it is do 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 a scent of warm. Warm and sun rays, a luxurious blend of vanilla, musk, orchids, and co toasted coconut. This one is another one of those coconut scents. This one is really, 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 really light. But at the same time, it's kind of got just like that beachy kind of scent to it. Um, this was another one which... I'm, it's still kind of growing on me. It's called Harlem Pear. And it is enjoy a blend of Harlem Pear's apples finished with an eloquent touch of vanilla. This is definitely going to be a, a very, very fall scent. Um, where I picked this up at the store that I picked it up from, the lady basically talked me into this candle. I mean, that girl was so much fun. I loved her. She was so much fun. Like, she made buying everything I bought at that store a lot of fun. And she recommended me this one. Like, I first smelled it and was not in love with it. And then she was like, oh, really? You don't like that one? I love that one. And, like, basically talked me into it. And I fell in love with it. So I like that one. Another one sh I got was Strawberry Sorbet. Um, this one, a cool new treat to delight your senses. I cannot talk today. I'm sorry. Um, sorbet made with sweetness of sun-ripened strawberries, sponge sugar, and a touch of vanilla. I smell the strawberries, but I feel like the vanilla and the sugar is more in there. It's not like a sugary scent. It's more of a vanilla creamy strawberry scent. Got another London Calling. Um, I know that you guys told me that I have three of these now. I know someone commented on my last video that this is coming back in the Destination Collection that launches June 6th, 
which I know it is now, thanks to that person. Um, they had me look it up. And I still, it was five bucks, and I know when the new collection launches, they're gonna be like 12 50 or whatever. So I figured five bucks, why not? I'm, I like packaging, packaging means a lot to me. Probably gonna pick one up eventually out of the new ones, just because. This one, I haven't burned yet, and I really want to. It's, um, Malahu, Mahu, Mahulu, Maui, Maui Thai Sunset. This is another one of those destination collection candles. Go on an instant vacation with a blend inspired by your favorite Hawaiian island, featuring notes of passion fruit, white flowers, and a hint of soft, soft musk. Let's luau. Also, I don't know if I showed you guys this on the last one, but the different lids for the destination collection is super awesome. I know they're just stickers on top, but they're really cool looking stickers, and I like them. Um, speaking of the destination collection, I have one more out of the destination collection that I got, and it was Rio Glow. This one, a tantalizing blend of tropical mango, papaya, guava, as vi vibrant as a Rio Carnival, Samba Let's Sunrise. Um, love this one. It's super fruity, super tropical. I literally bought this one. I s knew I was going to buy it before I even smelled it because there's a J-Lo perfume called Rio Glow, which I was like, okay, I'm buying just because it's called Rio Glow, and then I really like the smell of it. But, also on the Destination Collection, there was a test scent when these candles came out called Bermuda Break. If anyone has that candle, I am like desperate search for that candle. I really, 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 really want that candle. So, last candle I have, I believe, I don't think there's any more hiding anywhere, is Wind Down, Pomegranate and Sangria. Make, make the stress of the day disappear um, with pomegranate sangria's effervescent blend of oaky white white wine, apples, and a hint of juicy pomegranate seed. This smells like, it, it smells like sangria. I mean, I don't know if you ever smelled sangria, but it smells like sangria. Now, this one I literally bought because of this lid. Like, how cool is this lid? I love this lid, and apparently that's like, a lot of people love these lids, so I hope they do more with lids like that. So that's everything I bought out of the candles. Um, I will say that there's still more sitting here that you guys can't see, but I'm going to get there. Um, the next thing I bought, I bought all of this out of my last video. I showed you guys that I bought the Hawaii, which is right here, hold on. I bought this, which was the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Aloe Gel, and I bought the, like, the lotion for it last time. And I loved the way that this aloe gel smelled. I kept applying it and loved it. And I loved the other lotion. So I decided to let's go batshit crazy. And I bought the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Shower Gel. I also bought the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Ultra Shade Body Cream. I bought the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Crushed Coconut Scrub. The Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Perfume. The Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss. Let's see how many times I can say Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss in this video. Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Diamond Shower. Diamond sh I'm going to start calling these shower mist. Dear Jesus. Diamond Shower Mist. Sh fragrance Mist. I cannot. Shimmer Mist. That's what this one is. And then the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Fragrance Mist. Bought all that. I literally think I have everything now out of the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss collection. Which I'm super happy in. Oh, there went that. Just dropped that on the floor. Um, really, really like this. And plus, I only got the perfume and everything else I bought today because they were 75% off. Like, I bought all this extra stuff today because it went 75% off. So, there's all that. I'm super excited to try this scrub. Haven't ever done... I have a sugar scrub from Bath & Body Works, but I haven't tried any of their other scrubs. So, we'll see how I like that. Um, speaking of the aloe gels that I told you guys I liked, I also got the... Maui Mango Surf Shower, or Aloe Gel, the Oahu Coconut Sunset, and the, Co I don't even know how to say that word, uh, Lay Flower um, Gels, like these are super cool, I love the Aloe Gels, and with the new collection that's launching July 6th with a signature collection, and my hair is just a hot mess today, anyway, um, with the new collection that's launching on July 6th, 
they actually have like a bunch of like the new signature collection which is like five or six different scents they have the aloe gels in each one of those so i'm probably going to use my coupon to buy more aloe gels you know that's just going to be a thing especially because there's one called cool melon kiwi or something like that i don't know where my cheat sheet went i had a little cheat sheet over here my little cheat sheet aka coupon um, there's one called Cool Melon Kiwi, which these are the new scents that are coming out. And as you can see right there is one of the aloe gels. Um, when I was in the store today, they didn't have them officially available for sale, but the lady was nice enough to let me smell it. And the Cool Melon Kiwi smells almost identical to the Ocean Mango, uh, Ocean Melon and Mango, which I have, obviously I have a shower gel for. But I really, really like that scent, and I wanted something similar to it, and the Cool Melon Kiwi is similar to it. So I'll be stocking up on that. As you guys know, I told you in the last video, Twilight Woods is being discontinued after the semi-annual sale. So I bought the shower, or not the shower gel. Yeah, this is a shower gel. Shower gel and the just the normal uh, Shea and Vitamin E body lotion for this, which Twilight Woods cannot think. Wow. Um, bought this. And I bought this because of another YouTuber, and I can't remember what her name is. But she smelled this, she bought this, did a haul video on it, and said it smelled more like apples to her. And I didn't ever smell it in the store because I just the name Sweet Magnolia and Clementine threw me off. But I really do like it. I see what she was saying. I do see how it's kind of got that apple smell. Plus, look how, like, she said the same thing. Look how, like neon green this gel is so i also got the bourbon strawberry and vanilla shower gel i really like this one i bought the fragrance mist last time i was in bath and body works and this time when i was in there i picked up the uh shower gel and the ultra shea body cream for it because it's a super nice scent i feel like i have something else in this Maybe I don't. I thought I maybe had the lotion in it. But the Ultra Shea lotion is perfectly fine with me. So, got those. Next thing I got was the Pink Hibiscus and Pomegranate. As you guys know, I really like Pomegranate. Um, so I picked this up because it was a very nice Pomegranate. Tummy Hibiscus, Juicy Pomegranate, Lush Gardenia, and Fresh Starfruit. Plus, I really like, like how bright pink this is. So, super nice. I'll use this eventually down the road. Um... Another lotion I got was the Kauai. I seriously cannot pronounce this word. I got the Kauai Le Leaf Flowers. Lay Flowers. Wow. Um, I got the regular lotion and the Ultra Shea Body Mist or Ultra Shea Body Cream and the Fragrance Mist for this just because I really like this one. Uh, I didn't like this enough to pick up the perfume in it too, even though I could have. And now I'm probably kicking myself and probably end up going back and spending more money and getting it again. So who knows, we'll see. Um, speaking of, when I was speaking of this collection, the Bourbon Strawberry Vanilla Collection, I picked these up because they were $4 a piece, and I figured, what the hell, why not? Um, and then they ended up going down to 75% off, and then we did a price adjustment, whatever. I got the Body Choufflés, this one's the Sheer Cotton and Lemonade. Now, I didn't get anything else in this scent. Wasn't a huge fan of it. I do like the, the, the Choufflé in it, but... I just got this because it was cheap and I needed to help get there. Got the Sweet Magnolia and Clementine one, got the Peach one, and the only reason I picked up the Peach one because I already had the other three, which the other the fourth one is Strawberry Bourbon and Vanilla, but I already had the three, so I figured why not complete the collection and have the fourth one. So, then I got this, which we're not going to go into because that's a whole other thing. Um, I picked this up, well, I didn't pick this up, my husband picked this up, it was the Pink Chiffon, um, travel sprayer now this my husband really really likes it. it's not a bad scent i'm not downing it anyway i do kind of like it but i wouldn't have personally for me wouldn't have paid what i paid for this for this but he wanted it so i got it i didn't really care it wasn't a big deal um then i got pocket backs which i got the sweet pea pocket back um as you guys know, I do like my pocket backs. And I don't know if it's just me and not paying attention, but I don't feel like the pocket backs ever are full. Like, I haven't actually used this. And, like, look at this. Like, I only have one that's actually full. Like, I got 
um, the fresh strawberries one. Like this one's actually full and I bought two of the fresh strawberries and look at this. I got this home and it was already like, look at that. Like how is this possible? Like am I missing something that is just non, I don't know. I wasn't super happy with the store that I bought these from in the first place and it's really sad because it's my local store. I'm not a super big fan of them. They've done some stuff that haven't made me very happy. So I actually decided to go to a different store. Like I'm going to a different store from now on. That's just going to be my thing. And then I also got the American Apple Pocket back, which this is, and there we go. Um, this is the new design, new formula, new everything with these. I really like this new formula. I'm hoping that they fixed whatever caused this bullshit, but you know. So next thing is my hand soaps and in my last video, I showed you guys that we bought six of the Boardwalk Vanilla Comb. This time, I only bought one of this, which it's the Watermelon Lemonade. And like I said in my last video, I really like the Watermelon Lemonade scent. So I picked up this. I think I got this for 50% off or 75% off. Um, don't remember what, but I wanted it. So then I got this one, which Chris Morning Air. Only got one of these. This was 75% off when I picked it up. This one smells super wonderful. If I can get it open. Um, it kind of has an apple smell to it. It says, um, embrace sweater weather, a blend of mountain pine, fresh juniper, and a hint of pear. I smell the pear. I really get the pear, but the pear is almost bordering on an apple. Then I got six of these because my husband liked this. This is the pumpkin pecan waffles. In my last video, I told you guys that I picked him up a little $2 candle. And this... Seriously smells like pecans and maple syrup. Um, not downing the scent because it's not a terrible scent, but this is his soap. I bought soap for me. I'll show you that here in a second. But bought six of these. He likes it. It's only going to be him in the house using it. No one else in our house likes this because it smells like you wash your hands with maple syrup and it sticks to your hands. Like, this is like if wherever it went. If my boardwalk, summer boardwalk, a summer boardwalk is the pinnacle of like lasting power on candles. This is like the pinnacle for lasting power on soaps. Like this smells like soap, or yeah, it smells like soap. It smells like maple syrup. And I remember the one and only time I washed my hands with this, somebody asked me why, like somebody had made a comment about like pumpkins, and, or not pumpkins, but pancakes. And it was like, seriously, like this thing has like throw to it. Like if you want to smell like maple syrup, just go pick some of this up. Like do what you do. but. Husband loves this, let him do what he does. So, now my soap, I went a little crazy on this, I will admit. It is the Garden Strawberry, this is the Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. I'm not, love the smell of this, I love strawberry. You guys know that, I already love strawberries. Um, this has got like little porous beads in it, but these went 75% off and when I found out they were going 75% off, I went and picked up 30 of these. Like, I'm not even going to show you guys. Like, I'm not even going to try to do it. But seriously, like, I have a whole entire shelf of these things now. Because I wasn't going to pass up a good deal on hand soap. Especially one that I really, really liked. So, I just jumped on it while I could. So, that is my Bath & Body Works haul video. For this time, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more semi-annual hauling. I believe if I pace myself to get through this next week, my next haul video for Bath & Body Works will be hauling on the Pop Tales and the Destination Collection and the Summer Sips Collection that all launches July 6th, which I have so many freaking coupons for. Like, I think I have, like, at least 40 of these. Not really. I have, like, 20 of these coupons. Plus, Bath & Body Works Honors three days before, three days after, so we'll see what coupon ends up working out better for my my behalf on that. So, there's all that. Also, you guys, um, I already kind of started twerking with it, or tweaking with it, whatever you want. Yeah, twerking on Miley Cyrus now, anyway. Um, started tweaking with the idea of doing a second channel. The new channel, it's not an idea anymore. It's something that's going to happen. It's just going to be kind of figuring out how I want to run it and so on and so forth, but the new channel is going to be called Wicker Flicker Burn Bath & Body Works Candle Reviews. Um, I already have everything kind of set up for it, I just need to 
set the channel up and have to start reviewing. I feel like I'll start doing that after I get the uh, new Destination collection and the new Pop Tales collection and just kind of do my reviews on those. So that's something. If you guys are interested in, let me know and I will definitely link it down below when I start link like how I link all my other stuff. So as always guys, thanks so so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S Perfume and Instagram among the stars perfume. The links are in the description below. And as always guys, thanks so so much for watching. Bye.